there's, it really depends on what interactive elements and technology you're talking about. But ultimately, the rule of thumb is that techno that technology should feel invisible. It should feel like it's a natural part of the world and the story and the experience. And it should help to enhance my experience rather than distract me from it. I've been in experiences where I'm like, oh my gosh, what is all this equipment? And what am I, what do I have to wear? And what do I have to do? What do I have to hold? All of these things that it takes me out of the experience rather than making me go deeper into the experience. So all of that technology, I love being able to use technology and tools and all kinds of really cool techniques. But how does all of the hardware of it fall away so that you can really be immersed in the story and the experience itself. How does it help to create that suspension of disbelief for your participant to make them believe that they're really there? So that's the real magic, I believe, of the technology, right? Does that little whatever robot or that little thing that you've created make it feel like like it's of a believable creature or animal is the really cool technology that you're projecting somewhere add to the story rather than be a distraction or uh, something that is completely not connected to the story, right? So you have, you have to really think about how to embed that technology and that the tools that you use into something that serves the point, the why of the story.